Hello everyone, this is Richard, and in this video I will be going over a recent bucket plugin that I just completed and explaining a bit about it and giving a tutorial on how to configure it. So, this is called the Welcome Pro plugin, and it basically adds this fancy welcome message with a configurable message of the day and a configurable server name. And so I'm just going to do that right now and I'll briefly show you how to use the commands and explain the permissions. So there's two commands in this, um, in this plugin and there's three permissions. The first permission is welcome pro dot welcome and this basically just determines anyone in that group anyone with that permission can see this welcome message. This is just handy if you only wanted admins to be able to see a welcome message in the welcome and uh, the message of the day because it was only pertaining to admins or something. And the next feature, the next command, there's welcome pro dot server name and welcome pro dot MOTD and each of those just basically determine who can access their corresponding um, commands. So I'll go over the server name command first. And this should probably only be given to admins because you wouldn't want a mod on your server, a moderator on your server, to be able to change the server name. So you just type server name and it can have spaces in it. And um, basically I'll just change it to test server. Also I should mention there's a character cap of 15. Um, looking at it now, that's probably a little too short and I might change it to 20 or 22 or something in the future, but in this build it's still 15. So I'll click um, that and you notice when I entered it there was no no messages or anything in chat, but it is changed. And one of the cool features is in addition to changing it in the file itself, it changes it right in the plugin. So anyone who logged in after that would see it without any reloads. So if I just join this server, test server, you'll notice it now says test server here and so now the message of the day command works a little differently and it's more complicated there are basically the way I program the message of the day there's three lines for the message of the day or there can be you don't have to use all three but you probably will and each line can have no more than 30 characters which again looking back at it's a little shorter than it probably could be and I might expand it to like 35 or 38 or 40 or something and basically you just type in the first argument is like one, two, or three. And it can only be that because that's just to determine what line you'll be changing for the message of the day or setting. So we'll use one and then there can be spaces in the message and I'll say this is a test message. It might be too long. Okay, that wasn't too long because I would have gotten something about it not being about it being too long if I did that. So then we'll say line two and so is this or I'll put this is a test message also is a test message also and it also let me set that and then I'll say this is the last line and then maybe in parentheses line three I don't know if that's too long Okay, yeah, it's saying it's too long. One of the features I'm planning on adding is it'll tell you how many characters it was so you know how much to delete. So I'll say maybe just three in parentheses. Yep, so now let me set it. And if I disconnect and hit multiplayer and reconnect again, you'll see it says, Welcome back, Lord Findle 22 and then MOTD, which stands for Message of the Day, of course. This is a test message. This is a test message also and this is the last line and then in parentheses three so that gives you a cool idea of how an interesting idea of how to set the message of the day for your server and how to configure this and so the last thing is there may be a case where whatever message of the day you had isn't relevant anymore saying you say for example you had there was going to be a party at 8 p.m. eastern on your server or whatever but the party's over and you don't have any new message of the day set so if you tried to like erase it and just set them to blank by doing MOTD1, it'll say there's not enough parameters. So what you do is you type EMPTY, and you have to do it exactly full caps like that and empty, because I figured no one would ever have that as their message of the day line. And so it'll recognize that, and it'll set the entire file where it's storing the information the variable to just empty, and so then or to blank, to nothing, basically. And so if you do that with all three of your lines, or like this, if you do it on all three and then disconnect the next person who joins 
or when I'm joining again, we'll see there is no message of the day. So that's an uh, interesting way and a handy feature to be able to empty the message of the day and set it to nothing if you don't want one anymore. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'll be adding a bunch more features to this plugin. Hopefully, I have a few more planned, like groups, so different people in different groups will see different messages of the day. Um, I also have been thinking about custom server jo um, custom server join and leave messages. Basically, as you notice, I'm not getting Glorfindel 22 join the game here, and that's because it's broadcasted to all players on the server except the one who logs in. So that's just a nice way, because I figured you're already getting this fancy welcome message, why should you have Glorfindel22 or whatever the player name is join the game. And, yeah, so if you'd like to support this plugin, um, you can download my other mods, or my uh, mod, the recipe expansion pack that helps, you could donate if you want to, I know not everyone can donate though, obviously. And um, you can also download like the banner, share this with your friends. And also, um, since YouTube is my other hobby in addition to programming, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribed to this YouTube channel. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you understood this tutorial. I hope this mod will be handy, or this mod, this plugin will be handy on your server. And, um, yeah, Richard out.